Hey folks, Aaron from ATE Outdoors here. I'm out in the little dirt farm area uh, in our backyard uh, behind my little workshop building. Uh, I have prepped this old tote that was given to me by my father, oh, probably about 10 years ago. Um, I've carried it around everywhere with me. But I prepped it for these. Uh, little saffron bulbs. I got 25. Uh, this is actually uh, too close for them to be planted, but I don't have much space uh, anywhere else to plant them. I've mixed uh, some uh, perlite. Uh, I've mixed some, some of this uh, perlite in here and some sand into the dirt to uh, help aid in um, drainage because they like well-drained soil. But um, yeah, this is, <clears throat> I've got, I said 25, yes. I have 25 of these bulbs uh, and we're gonna get them planted. So I'm, first I'm just gonna set them out and see if I can get them, uh, how many rows I can get of them in here and continue breaking down what I have. Uh, in here for soil. Some of it's not really broken down that well. And uh, this bag of soil apparently, oh wait, nope, that was some from some dirt that was left in here. Uh, an old bonsai that I was working on. Put that over there with my other bonsai stuff. Uh, but first I just want to lay them out and get a good idea of where they're going to be in here before I start actually covering everybody up. <clears throat> and I don't actually have that much of a method to this. I'm just, uh, Trying to get them all sort somewhat evenly spaced. There's going to be some that are right up on top of each other. They don't really have much um, distance between them in this, which is unfortunate. But like I said, it's all I have right now. Uh, and in the future, hopefully, I can have more. Uh, I will have more space. Uh, have a bigger area for them. But uh, this is my first year doing saffron, so we'll see how it works out. But this is them so far, and what I'll do now is just take them where they're at, move the soil out of the way, push them down. And then I'll give them a good water. Uh, once I give them a good water, I'll uh, come out and uh, check the tub every once in a while to see how well it's holding water. And hopefully this fall we have some uh, saffron for to dehydrate in the house and use. I've never used it before, so this will be a good, uh, fun little experiment. All right, you guys have a good one.